Today we're making fairy wings. So here's all the materials you are going to need. You're gonna need some duct tape or solder, some wire for the wings, some beads for decoration, um, head pins for stringing the beads on, a needle felting tool slash just needle felting needles, wool roving for needle felting, um, some mohair yarn, and a yarn that's a weight three or lower to cover the wires, and some fairy lights. Of course, right? I think this is a good spot in my room to film. So we're currently on the floor because we're going to start drawing our wing design. I drafted a bunch of uh, wing designs back in January before knowing that I was going to make this. So um, I thought this was the perfect opportunity. You can make your wings however you want them to look, but this is how mine are going to look. These, I, I, I'm, I'm so excited to make these. So. Basically, I sketched out my draft, and then I got like a large roll of paper. You're going to take that design and then put it to the scale that you want it to be. Um, my paper ended up not being big enough. I ended up splitting my wing into the top half and the bottom half. Um, and I drew all the places where the mohair is going to connect the spines of the fairy wings. All the darker lines are going to be where the wires follow. But here is the top half, and that's the bottom half. So if you look closely, you'll notice that I marked off where my center back is. This is how deep my wire that's going to go into my corset will be. And then I marked out from my center back to my shoulder. So then I knew if the wings would pass my shoulder. As you can see, there's this little dotted line, another dotted line, and then my paper ended up not being long enough and I didn't want to graft it, so um, I made another draft for the bottom half, marked off where my shoulder was going to be because I wanted it a little wider. And then also I took note of like the curve of my hip, which is why I had it slant out this way like so. Yeah, it's just really as simple as that. Now we're going to get to the wiring. Okay, so once you've drawn everything out, you're going to start shaping your wire to the lines on your paper. Um, since you've only drawn half the wing, you're going to shape half of it, then flip it over and then shape the other half because you're going to be, um, this is the bottom here that's going to go like into your corset or into your bra or something like tight around your chest. Um, and you want to make sure to do both sides. And crazy thing! <laughs> These two spines alone took me two hours. Um, I actually, I like how it's turning out so far, so let's do one, two, three, four, five, six more of these. <laughs> I'm excited. These look, these look pretty good so far. And here is what it looks like so far. This bracket right here that's supposed to go like into my clothes seems a little bit clunky, but um, I'm sure it'll be, it'll feel fine by the time I put it on. So let's get to taping. All right, so this is what I have so far. I've taped together the wires where they all intersect. So for here, I taped it at the bottom and the sides, and then I basically taped them in batches. Um, I taped two of these wires together and then two of these wires together right here um, just for a little bit more reinforcement where they meet. Um, next what I'm going to do is attach these four together right here and then at the bottom um, and then we're going to take the whole thing and wire up this entire u-shape that's going to go into your shirt slash top. Um, I'm loving how it's looking so far. I tried hammering it so that the wires right here would be a little bit thinner, but it didn't really work. I think if I was to make a more high scale version of this, I would definitely solder these wires together so I don't have to use tape. Um, but this is a great first pass. I'm excited to see how this goes.
all done with the middle. It's exactly the thickness that I thought it would be. I feel like it might still be a little bit uncomfortable, but I'll try it on later. Um, now we're gonna put this in the corset. Here's how it goes into the corset in the back. If you don't have a lace up, it'll still work just fine, but I feel like the lacing helps it um, be secure a little more. Also, I'm going to tie a ribbon from here to here just to hold this in place so the wires don't open up this way. Um, and I'm also going to thread that ribbon through these two eyelets right here. That way it's also sewn in with the corset, basically. So far, I am kind of obsessed. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> okay, so let me give you a quick rundown of um, everything that I did yesterday. <sighs> I draped and sewed each of the mohair inserts onto the wire frame, um, and then I added jewelry, and that took like so many hours. Um, and I did run into a few problems where the wings weren't exactly the same size and that's definitely my fault because I didn't like write down exactly like where I increased and where I decreased. I really just eyeballed it. Um, but I really love the way the jewels turned out. Um, and I do still have to accessorize a little bit but I might save that for later because we're having a photo shoot today. Oh my gosh, they literally all fit perfectly. <laughs> 